So again, here we have a graduated cylinder. I filled it with water, uh, added some universal indicator solution, which was a green color, and then used uh, a base, in this case sodium hydroxide, to get us into the basic color range for this indicator. To that, I'm going to add a couple chunks of dry ice, and that's going to carbonate the water and cause it to change colors. There you can see a blue color, kind of a teal or turquoisey, and then into green. There we're back to the neutral 7 pH. Now we have it going into the yellow color range, uh, which is what we have with a acid, and it should continue to bubble here, and we might be able to get it into a slightly uh, orangish tone there. And there I can begin to see a darker yellow up top at least. To encourage it to go all the way to the acidic range, I'm going to add a little bit of acid. Uh, um, carbon dioxide is, forms a weak acid in the water, and so I'm going to add a little bit of a strong acid to push the color change all the way into the acid range. Uh. And so since I'm adding the acid to the top, you can see the color change going down there. Well, I've not added quite enough to get it into the true acid range. Now, we could probably go ahead and um, uh, add a little more acid and get it into a really deep red room. Uh, uh, but I think we will we'll stop there. Now, because of the dry ice bubbling so vigorously, I don't want to add too much more liquid to this. And so what I'm going to do is transfer it here to another graduated cylinder, and then we'll try to send it back into the neutral and even basic range. So I'm pouring off the liquid here. Of course, the carbon dioxide the, uh, is being poured off as well. It's heavier than air, so you can see it's sinking. Of course, you're seeing the water vapor condensing on the carbon dioxide there, not actually the carbon dioxide. But the dry ice has stayed in my other graduated cylinder, uh, in the original graduated cylinder. So now what we can do is we can add some base and try to get it to go back into the... Um, basic range of the pH here. Yeah. Not quite enough there to neutralize it all the way, and <coughs> I need to go get more basic. Good. Mix up.